Welcome to the main stage, everyone. Uh, again, my name is Renita Bartlett. I'm down here at FCSS here in the town of Cochrane. Um, at this time, I'm very excited to welcome Mark from Home Reno, Heaven, to the stage as our first presenter. Welcome, Mark. Thank you, Renita. All right. Good morning, everybody. As Renita mentioned, my name is Mark, Mark Anderson. I am the manager of the little store Home Reno Heaven in Cochrane. Um, Home Reno Heaven is owned and operated by Cochrane Society for Housing Options. I may refer to them as CSHO and Home Reno Heaven as HRH. Um, the, the Home Reno Heaven store has been in business for 11 years, two different locations in Cochrane. Uh, our mission at Home Reno Heaven is to basically raise money for Cochrane Society for housing options. Uh, we do that by accepting donations of usable building materials, uh, tools, appliances, uh, lighting, electrical bits and pieces, and uh, we resale those items and the profits that we that we make from that goes towards uh, housing related services that enhance the quality of housing related programs and services available to Cochrane and surrounding area uh, through Cochrane Society for Housing Options. So we serve the general public uh, a number of different ways. Uh, the first way is if you're out there uh, redoing a uh, kitchen, we would take the old cabinets from you or or receptacle covers or tile that's left over. Uh, we would take tools off your hands if, if you're cleaning out your garage. Uh, there's lots of people these days that are moving off of acreages into town and, and cleaning up their services and their bits and pieces. Bring them into us. I mean, you don't always know where uh, to put that stuff if you're giving it away or you don't feel like going on uh, some of the social service sites to sell things. A great place to take them is Home Reno Heaven. Um, we also serve the general public by supplying those items for resale. And uh, as mentioned, the profits go to Cochrane Society for Housing Options. But if you're looking for tools at a significantly discounted price, um, just do that. If you're looking for some cabinetry for your garage, if you're looking for some appliances, whether you know short-term, long-term, whatever, uh, if you're looking to upgrade your appliances, you can always bring the old ones down to us, provided they're in good shape and they work. Um, the other thing that we do often that isn't provided in a lot of services is a lot of the people that work at Home Reno Heaven and volunteer at Home Reno Heaven uh, are tradespeople. They've also got a lot of life's experiences under their belt. So if you come in and you have some questions about a project you're working on, uh, our volunteers are often in great position to actually explain some things to you. Electricians, plumbers, uh, parts people, uh, welders. We've got all sorts of people working at Home Reno Heaven and volunteering at Home Reno Heaven that can answer a lot of questions for you. Um, as far as the volunteer opportunities at Home Reno Heaven, there, there's lots. We actually have people at Home Reno Heaven volunteering that are anywhere from 13 years old to 90 years old presently. Um, we've got uh, young people that haven't been able to find a job uh, because of this COVID nonsense um, that just want to stay busy. So they come down to Home Reno Heaven and we mask them up and we orient them and we put them to work uh, helping out our community. So they actually make it all happen. Home Reno Heaven is, is you know, our volunteers do a tremendous job. They are a, a fantastic service to our community by helping out around. The stuff that comes into Home Reno Heaven is not always organized uh, pickup truck full of boxes full of stuff that came from granddad's garage is is a little bit tricky to get through and make sure that we have the right stuff on our shelves uh, properly priced and organized in such a way that we can we can find it again 
So yeah, sometimes it looks a little bit um, a little bit disorganized, but uh, we work and try very hard to keep it as organized as possible. And our volunteers are doing most of that work. Receiving goods, cleaning the goods, fixing things that don't require a whole lot of work, um, pricing things, and, uh, and getting them out on the shelf is a lot of what they do. And a lot of what they do is also working with our customers to help them through whatever project they're working on and, uh, and go from there. So if you're interested in volunteering, we are always looking for more volunteers. Um, the, what essentially, if you were to come down to the store and see what we do would be a really good idea. The, you know, you can have a walkabout, you can talk to any one of our, in a lot of cases, you can talk to some of our customers that have been there for years and uh, our volunteers for sure. We've got volunteers that have been there for longer than myself and I've been there for seven years. Um, the, uh, if you come down to the shop and you, you have a walkabout, you see what we do, how we do it, ask some questions of, of uh, uh, our employees or our volunteers, the employees, uh, Phil, uh, Celine, myself, Mark, and uh, our latest addition is a summer student named Curtis. Um, we support that program also. But anyway, if you ask any of these people, um, you know, how we operate, we'd be happy to, to get you on board with that. There's a little bit of paperwork that gets filled out. Um, we'll go from uh, uh, filling out the paperwork. There'll be a little bit of vetting on that. Uh, preferably through some references. And then uh, we basically go through an orientation process, which involves you know, going through our codes and practices, um, some of our pertinent procedures, touring the store, introducing the family to you. We lovingly call all of our staff and volunteers, uh, our, our group, the family. Um, uh, there's a little bit of training involved, but but not a whole lot. We aren't quite a retail store because we do tests, test stuff and there's a lot of moving things around. We do pick some things up on occasion when people aren't able to do things like that um, and basically get you plugged back into the store. And then uh, our commitment that we ask from you when you hire on or volunteer uh, you commit to at least four hours in any one shift. We do have a number of volunteers that actually work full days. Uh, that's that's their prerogative. Uh, every little bit helps around the store. So you know if if uh, if you're somewhere between 13 and whatever, uh, and you feel like spending some time helping out the community, Cochrane. Uh, Home Rental Heaven is a really good place to do that. We have a great atmosphere there. Uh, uh, one of the questions that's often asked is, do we need a background check on our volunteers? Uh, not initially. Uh, some of our volunteers actually run cash, and in those cases, we would ask for a background check. Uh, the rest of our volunteers, and in particular people that hire on immediately, we don't ask for a background check up front. Uh, we do actually work with the uh, day home folks. We also work with the youth justice committee uh, and the adult justice groups for nonviolent offenders that need to spend a little bit of time for community service. And uh, it would be wouldn't be in anybody's best interest for us to do a background check in those cases. So uh, we don't require that of a number of our volunteers. And, uh, you know, we're basically get them plugged in, get their hours off and, and away they go. In a lot of cases, because of the atmosphere we have at Home Rental Heaven with our volunteers, we have uh, students, young people, uh, volunteers that have been uh, putting in community service at the store uh, that put their hours in and continue to volunteer at the store because they like it so much. 
for the young folks. There's a lot of great mentoring on our older volunteers and, and uh, our employees. Uh, the mentoring that goes on there is just basically good camaraderie, showing uh, young folks how to do things, um, uh, getting them plugged into lots of different uh, life's experiences, really. We've had everything from helicopter pilots to, you know, like I mentioned, electricians, welders, parts people. Uh, we have a seamstress working there. We've, you know, we've pretty much got all of the bases covered. They're not all there at the same time. So you have to pop in when one of them that can service your needs is, is available. But, but uh, from a volunteering standpoint, we would welcome you any way that we can get you on board. So if you want to come down to the store, meet me, Mark Anderson. You want to come down to the store meet phil or celine or curtis or tom or or john or or uh, virginia there's just a whole bunch of people there they would be more than happy to bring you on board and and show you how things are done um, that's kind of that's kind of it in a nutshell if you have any questions uh, i'd be more than happy to answer them for you Wow, Mark, it was so great to learn about Home Reno Heaven. Uh, I learned so, so much today. Um, something that I'm particularly excited about that you said is that um, you, if you're 13 years old, you can come in and volunteer. Um, as a person that receives phone calls often from people looking for volunteer opportunities, I have parents calling me saying, do you know anywhere in Cochran that my kiddo can volunteer? So it's so wonderful to hear you say um, that you open it up for the younger um, youth in our community. Uh, I can't wait to share that information out to them. Yeah, um, we've, we've actually had, you know, there's a few of our volunteers that are pretty keen folks can do the mentoring. So, you know, take them under their wing on, the, on any given day. And uh, if they're testing equipment or if they're tearing stuff apart or if they're, you know, whatever the activity is on that particular day, actually sit down with the with the youth and and explain how this works and how it comes apart and how it goes back together again fixing these things is actually you know if we can fix something that it no longer works and get it back out there to the public and can can be part of that you know like i said life scale that's what troubleshooting and figuring is That's so wonderful. And something else you said, Mark, that really kind of struck up my heart was that you referred to volunteers at Home Reno Heaven as family. Um, that's so important. It's so important for people to feel welcome in our organization. So I Sorry, just want to. Sorry, you a little bit, Renita. Oh, okay. Um, just your stream. Can you hear me now? I can hear you. I can't see you. Oh, okay. Okay. I just I just want to wrap up, Mark, by saying thank you so much for coming out today and joining this virtual volunteer fair and sharing everything about Home Reno Heaven. We're such we're so honored to have you here today. So thank you. Thank you very much. Bye, Mark. <laughs>